Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha. This is the Budget Mom UK and in today's video it's a first for me. Um, I've been on this channel for just over a year now, like maybe 13 months and this basically video is going to be an accumulation of everything I've worked for over the last, well yeah, 13 months effectively. Um, I'm going to be unstuffing my binders. So I'm going to be unstuffing my cash stuffing envelopes, my ones that I save up for everything in, the ones that I've been saving for, for from day dot, basically. Um, I'm not sure right now how I feel about it because I just had an epiphany of I don't really know exactly how much is in there. I know at the end of every month I count what I've put towards debt and how much I've got in savings, but I don't think it's really sort of registered. So I'm physically going to be taking everything out and counting it. And then I think I'm just going to draw a line and go, right, what are my priorities now? What does this mean for me? what can I pay off my debt, if anything, because, you know, I've got my sinking funds there for a reason. Um, so I, I don't want to completely like kibosh them and get rid of them full stop because they're a little safety net effectively. But also at the same time, you know, I've got debt that could be reduced or hold up. I'd love for it to be eradicated completely, but that's a bit too optimistic right now but there's definitely I think room for bringing it down just 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 getting rid of some because I did take on a bit more debt last month and I don't I just feel like I need a, a reset button if you like so if you're in a similar situation if you're just starting on your budgeting journey or just starting your cash stuffing journey or sinking funds journey you can do it now with me, basically. I'm going to be putting brand new things in place. When I set up my sinking funds, um, that's where I was at that particular point in my life. And that, that's what I wanted to have as priorities. But then as I've gone along and done things and you know, life has gone on, things changed and tweaked. Not, not massively, but I get other priorities in my own life now. And um, I'll say, and I'll say it over and over, your budget needs to change. It should not be rigid. It should work with you and your life and your lifestyle and your life changes and your life and your, your, you know, needs and wants and everything else changes. Just like, you know, we know we've got a massive energy crisis coming up. We know we need to be mindful of that. That wasn't necessarily predicted to the extent that it is actually going to be like at the start of the year. So you know, I don't think anyone could have predicted just how bad it was going to be because, you know, hopefully that could have been prevented. But yeah, I've just got different things I want to prioritise, including, you know, getting rid of my debt, ultimately. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to touch my savings challenges binder. I'd already, if you've seen me before, I've already mentioned that I've got an idea for one of the challenges because it's my mum's birthday and I needed to book her ticket for, she wants to go and see a show. So I need to do that, need to do that. Um, so that's, that is, <laughs> as long as there's enough in there, I'm going to do that today. I am, I am, I am. I've been saying this for weeks. I am. So we're going to go for that. And then, yeah, I think we're going to just like start again, but. I genuinely don't know what it's going to look like. I love doing these things, li not live, but on camera with you guys. So you get to see my thoughts, my thinking. And sometimes it goes right and sometimes it goes a bit wrong. But that's life and it's real. So that's okay. We're going to have a look. I'm just going to... I don't know how much to expect. I don't really know what I'm going to find. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards either. So first, this is going to be definitely at least a two part video. So I'm going to, I'm just looking at my binders now thinking, what on earth am I doing? <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm going to be unstuffing them because I have got new binders I want to introduce as well. And I think that'll help me to sort of get myself organised and get myself in a good 
starting point effectively. So that's what we're going to do. Pull in effort, we're going to be counting it, counting cash. I'm hoping there's loads there. I love counting it and seeing the end result. I know you guys love seeing that too. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. So shall we, shall we just go and get stuck in? <laughs> right. So let's jump straight in. Now, my fluid envelopes pretty much are going to do the same apart from I'm going to remove a couple of them now. I still love my paid forward envelope and that reminds me I cash stuff in my Etsy video. I actually got £10 for my paid forward and it needs to come out of my debt which is like a bit of an oxymoron I guess but uh, people pay for my paid forward envelope with the intention of it going in there so I can't really be putting it towards something else because that's not, not fair so um, yeah so I should have done that yesterday and didn't so i'm just gonna start with that before i even do anything else now i will see how much is in here and again it's like i don't know what i'm saving for like <laughs> in case i just see something oh i keep saying about a piece of art for the front room maybe or even for my bedroom but i am saving at the minute to sort of do the house up or do my bedrooms up at least um and a bit of paint on the front room and then i'm just like well Maybe I'll save it towards a nice decorative item that I can find on Etsy. So thank you, as always, to everyone who contributes to the Pay It Forward envelope because I, I use it to buy something off Etsy for another small business. So if you've ever got any small business of your own or any that you can recommend, um, for example, like I bought, I'll just put this on here, today. I've got one of my wax melts that I bought off one of the stores recently. I had this little mini house. How cute is this? I've had it forever and never got around to use it. I don't even know where it came from. I think it came from like a, a local farm like a few years back, maybe last summer or something. So yeah, getting to use that, it smells absolutely amazing. So I use it for your recommendations, ultimately. I'm going to keep my time for me. I'm going to keep groceries, obviously, and petrol's going to stay. Now, gifts, as part of my new envelope, one of my new envelopes that I'm going to be doing is a gifting envelope. So I'm just on, on stuffing today, so I'm not showing you all my new binders and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out, which means I love this little gift envelope. I think it's really cute. I love the glitz. I love this, this rose gold colour, to be honest. So I'm sure I'm keeping hold of it and um, I'm sure it'll come to use again at some point. So what I'm going to do as I go through and take things out, I'm just going to put a note on here of what I've taken out and where it's come from. Uh, I'm not sure entirely why I just yet, probably just so... Like, I feel like I could start maybe with my new bind. I've got £35 that I really ought to at least put into there. So I'm going to pop that to one side. Now, days out, because really this was sort of for my, my summer, maybe I should keep hold of it for October half term. I want to see how much is in it. I don't actually know how much is in it at the moment. 20, 40, 70, 70 pounds though, which is quite a lot. The only thing I could think of is I haven't renewed my mailing passes as yet. So maybe I'll take this out. Yeah, let's take, let's take it out because I, oh, I feel like I want a bit of a fresh. Take it out and um, I'll think about whether I can justify those mailing passes because we do use it a lot. Date night at the moment, I'm just going to sort of kibosh to one side because... It's just don't happen when you've got a two-year-old and no babysitters do this. So, forty pounds. Beauty, I'm going to keep hold of. I'm, I'm, like I know it's controversial like getting nails done and eyebrows done and hair done when you're on a budget. However, for me, um, my hair needs doing it. It's desperate, and. I like having my nails done and to be honest I spend a lot of time now on camera and I don't really want to be showing rubbish nails if that makes sense and I also feel really good it's like a bit of a mental health boost as well for me so I like getting them done as and when I can afford to do that so I'm going to keep hold of it eating out how much is in here 20 so it's not a great deal I've no immediate plans to go eating out but um, it's always a useful envelope and these are quite new additions Alex like Spence and Holly Spence as well so I'm going to keep hold of those put that 
with that one done. Now the big one that's really going to sort of, not take a hit, but get pulled apart, is this My Big Dreams envelope. So debt obviously is staying. Now school, because I didn't need to spend all that money on Holly's uniform that I was anticipating, is really, really full. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 pounds, which, yeah, I could keep it in there and go, well, she might need something or she might want to go on a trip. But actually, right now, I feel like this would be better lent towards debt and I can start to put just a small amount into the school one as I go because she's got everything she needs right now for the start of term. Um, and if she needs trips or she needs trips, she goes on trips or whatever, then if I start to put a little bit aside each week as I can afford it, that'll accrue again as well. So I'm going to take that out. We'll count everything up all together at the end of this, by the way. I just think it's useful for me to note where I've come from, you know, where it's come out of, if, if you know what I mean. So I will keep school in there. You mentioned it's obviously going to stay. Now, car and car repair, I feel like we're a bit... Let me just take these out. I'm going to take these out. And then, let me just see where I'm at. This should really come up, come under one umbrella because I think it's confused me for a while having two for a bit. And to be honest, this envelope is a bit dead. It needs to get, I could refix it, I could just laminate it. I think it was just, I don't like wasting things, but hey ho, there we go. Put it to one side for now. What have I got in car? Because my insurance is, I've got the car in December last year. Was it December, November? I bought my car last year. And insurance is, I always think about £500. And if I can pay it off in one go, that's great because then you're saving interest. And they do charge interest on those things, by the way. So just something to bear in mind. I don't want to completely get rid of everything because although it's passed its service and the MOT this year, I, I, I still don't know how or why. Um, there's a lot of money here that I can put towards debt. And it's it's going to be a while before it needs to go in. For, the MOT is not till June next year. So that gives me a great load of time to save up for the, the brake pads and then to start saving again. And I suppose I've always got the emergency fund if anything goes wrong before that. So what I think I'm going to do, and this feels really scary doing, is I'm just going to put 500 into my car for my insurance. Oh, but no, hang on. And my road tax, I think, was 140. So if I put 600 in, that gives me a few months to put the rest towards my road tax. But then that means I've got 600 and 35 that I can then put towards debt. So that just seems genius to me. I don't know. So let's put this word my cargo on go. I think we're done with you. You know? Where's car gone? <laughs> it's there, I can't see the looking. Do you know what? It's because the camera's annoying. And this is my nicest envelope from Bertha. I really love the pink woods and glam. So that can go back into here for now. Or should I just pull it all out and start again? Should I pull it all out and have a... Should I do that? Would you do that? Should I pull everything out? Having a thought. I'm going to pull everything out. I'm going to pull everything out. That feels really scary. If I pull everything out and then I can count exactly what's here, that might be the best thing to do. Sorry, these videos are filmed live as I do them. Obviously, I haven't even written these down now. I don't need that then, do I? All right, forget it. This is this is my new plan. See, I plan these videos, and this is why it's fun because you know I just make stuff up as I go along. I'm pulling everything out. Even if it feels really scary, pulling this money out. What was in here anyway? 20, 40, 60, 80. There's ninety pound in there. I'm going to put at least a hundred back in there anyway, aren't I? Because of all the other things I've just said. So <laughs> I feel very naughty. <laughs> Why? Right, let's keep all of that. Even emergencies coming out. The money's not gone, it's there. I'm just choosing where to put it. 
and I might have to have a think on this and do a, a whole we sit down and whatever and yeah that's going over there as well bedroom renovations well, that's nearly 100 there it's all right and holly and alexander will be the same whichever five six hundred so they're doing all right six hundred and seventy right each so that's those ones. <laughs> Gosh, I feel really. Do you know the money? Some of that money has been sat there for so long. And these envelopes, that it feels very surreal. Pulling them all apart. <laughs> that's empty. It's empty. And I've got a great big pile of money. That is so surreal. No. Do I take my challenges out and count them? Or, right, I think I'm going to take a little brain break because I need to decide what I'm going to do with this now because I'm going to count what's here just so we know, or organise it rather. Write that number down and then I'm going to have a little think off camera what I want to do with it, what would be the most sensible. I'll have a look at my debt. I'll come back and I will share my thoughts with you all, as I always do, probably too much. I don't know. Time to shut up, it's fine. <laughs> um, and then, I'll show all these placeholders, which is great, but, you know, love placeholders. Um, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, like, grown-up stuff. I feel really, I'm not a grown-up, I don't get it. I don't understand how to be <laughs> mature and sensible and organized right let's count all this right so let's do i put them into piles of a thousand there's not gonna be a thousand oh yeah there's a thousand already here so do you know i think i like underestimated how much is here one thousand two thousand wow okay wow okay how how mad is it that you don't realise how much is here? Just because it just sits there. Two, th three thousand, right. And that's before I even got to like the cash that's here in front of me. One, two, three, four hundred and fifty there. So let's see what's here in my twenties and tens. Let's pop these here for a second. 20, 40, 60, oops, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 4, 4, 20, 4, 40, 4, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 570, 580, 595 in cash, so 595, 695, 795, 895, 995, so that's another thousand there and fifty four thousand and forty five pound whoa <laughs> oh my god that's like how much is even in my debt right now that's like that could wipe out my debt that could wipe out my debt and i've not even done this Oh my god, that is seriously, seriously um, surreal. Surreal is the word I'm thinking of. What to do with it all? I like, I haven't even counted this. Let me write that number down because I'm going to forget. Sinking funds. <laughs> Thousand and forty-five. Oh, um, 
<laughs> ah, wow. Okay. Okay. Let's pop this one side. I need to really, really think about what I want to do. Let's have a look at how much in my challenges now because that could, you know, well, like. Selena from uh, Miss Budgets was like, why have you even got money in here? What? Thank you, by the way, for that that, that big push. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, because that is insane. Right, let's look at my laptop. Let's pull all this out. Now, I don't particularly want to count all this, all the change, but I'll, I will have a look. I'll, I'll use the card, maybe. Oh, actually, no, I'll... Let's count the coins. Let's see what's there. Let's get on with it. Like this, this my challenges really need to start in again anyway. It feels very light now. <sighs> okay, where are we up to? So, on the left. I've left the challenge inside, sorry. Well, yeah, let's take let's just take the whole lot in. Let's take everything out. Because I might just I love I love my little Manchester bees, but I might have a whole remake of everything again. So see like I've had that in for ages. I've never used it. That's not happening ever. Okay, I keep wearing dresses with holes in. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. That is my life right now. Dresses with holes. I'm not even joking. Right. Laptop computer 40, 80. So that should be 160 anyway, straight off. I'll count it was like. And then this was my concerts one. But let's just let's just let's just take it out. Because actually, I'd already said I'm gonna use some of this money for my mum's birthday. So I can wipe that off, start again if I want to. That is a good thing about these ones. You can just do it over and over. Let's pull it all out. And then, well, it's always fun to get this, but um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Should be 30 quid in there. That's easy. And I think I'm going to keep these two pan coins, keep going, because yeah, I, like, I like them anyway. So regardless, I'm, but I know there's 30 there, so let's see what we've got all together here. Sort it out first of all. If I do this, and I do it right, I feel like I've got I've got an opportunity now, and I need to make the right decisions. It could mean I don't know. It could mean a much warmer Christmas. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's count. We've got one hundred, two hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. And two, four, six, one, two, three, four, ninety-four, plus the thirty that's on in here. So that's four hundred and twenty-four pounds. That's another four hundred and twenty-four pounds. That is another four hundred and twenty-four pounds. Sorry, I'm saying that like what's that then? Nine six four four. Four four six nine nine six four four six yeah four four six nine nine that would be nice four four six nine ah uh, right right I've got some and whatever's in there I know obviously these are, these ones are getting used all the time but that doesn't include my penny saving challenge jar which is here um it doesn't include 
other bits that I know I've got floating around here which I need to go over with you because I've come across a little stash that I started right at the beginning of this journey. <sighs> right. I, I need to utilise this well. I need to put it towards my debt. Not all of it because I do still need some, just in case, because I already mentioned my car, insurance, etc. And I want to have that there. Basically, I don't want to worry, and I don't want to worry about my um thousand pound. I want to I want to keep that emergency fund, and also Holly and Alex. I want to have some money to one side for them, but I need to decide how much and what to do best about that because I would feel wrong taking it out of their account. However, I think they would benefit more in the long run by me having a reduced debt. I hope that makes sense and you're not going to like shoot me down for that comment um but yeah this is going to be part one then isn't it let's have a think i need to take some time to think about this i really do i'm, I'm excited that it's that much but yeah i really need to think really carefully right <laughs> there we go that was like crazy crazy numbers look 44 and then four oh four five four four six nine. What do I do with that money really? Um I'm gonna think on it, but also I would love if you put your ideas down below. Like as I said, I don't want to completely go right and pay off the whole lot of debt because I know I've got I need to keep some in, in the emergency funds and I know I need to keep some in the children's and I know I need to keep some in the uh, my car fund so how would you distribute that would you like do half of it towards debt would you do i don't know three quarters of it would you do just a grant i don't know what would you do because right now i don't i, I don't know i feel like I, I need my bar charts i like looking and figuring out because yeah i like everything in front of me like this because I'm, I'm just looking at all the cash that is here now and Go on a big holiday. <laughs> Don't go on a big holiday with it. Right. That is me all done for today. If you have enjoyed what you have been watching, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up like icon and then click on the bell notification button as well because it is free and it's seriously like already my day's made, but you could like make it even better by joining my little channel <laughs> and then also if you hit that bell then you know when i'm on my next video so you know what i'm doing with all my money oh maybe i'll be doing a live off the back of a cruise ship i'm joking there's no wi-fi that's rubbish um okay right <laughs> if you're already subscribed thank you so much you know I can't be upset you because you're great and I love you. <laughs> I'm delirious again. I've got that delirium stone. Right. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you really soon. Bye.